All right, I've hit record and uh, go. Do this. Here we go again. Oh god, God hates blank. <laughs> oh god, literally. Um. <laughs> God hates worshipping that pussy. <laughs> wow. God hates Queen Elizabeth's immaculate anus. <laughs> be honest, I can imagine he would if he saw her now. I thought worshipping <laughs> that pussy worked too well. I, uh, it works in a way, but then it's, I don't know. <laughs> I just found that one more humorous. <laughs> M. Night Shyamalan's new movie, Bruce Willis discovers that Blank had been Blank all along. In M. Night Shyamalan's new movie, Bruce Willis had discovered that his career has been shitty all along. I do not have any good ones. I think mine was funny. So don't worry, Bill. Our score's reset, so it was a visual bug. Okay. Okay. I'll put this one. Ah, no, I don't, I'm burning. In M. Night Shyamalan's new movie, Bruce Willis discovers that uh, discovers that uh, wizard magic had been murder all along. Is it music? Yeah, that's that's just music, mate. <laughs> Wait, what'd I say? Magic. Yeah, oh. said magic. <laughs> okay, wizard music had been murder all along. Okay, there we go. Uh, in M. Night Shyamalan's new movie, Bruce Willis discovers that a three-foot-tall corned beef sandwich had really been a micro-penis all along. <laughs> yeah, that one wins. <laughs> uh, just for the ridiculousness, yeah. That, that's just funny. I was what a delicious sandwich, ones. Bruce. That's a micro penis. <laughs> right? An Asian penis, then. Hank, high five, bro. Oh, this is just, this is both perfect, but also just depressing, depending on the the couple. <laughs> oh God, the card I just drew would have been funny. Micro penis, high five. <laughs> hmm. I drew a different card. I'm not gonna say what it is. Uh, this card would have been good for it as well. Oh God! Leprosy. High five, bro. Oh shit! There goes your skin. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> Unwanted pregnancy. High five, bro. Now you gotta pay child support. No. <laughs> uh, honestly, these are both fantastic. They both I think work. I mean... think I know which one is gonna win, though. Dice. What do you say? <laughs> You can play Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, yes, I did roll a d20. I rolled under a 10, so the first one wins. Woo! Uh, I just find it funny also, like, oh shit, there goes your skin! <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> that is perfect. Ooh, another two one. Step one, blank. Step two, blank. Step three, profit. <laughs> okay, come on, this has got to be good. Ah, uh, oh boy. Oh, I have a really dark card. I hope I get the chance to use it. Oh, what? I'm just gonna do this because why not? Step one: the Jews. Step two: owning and operating a Chili's franchise. Step three: profit. Oh. Step one: alcoholism. Step two: cards against humanity. Step three: profit. You know what? That would win. That would win. Ah. Uh. Let's be real here, yeah. I mean, if you're doing videos and you're just, like, drunk out of your minds, so I can see that being entertaining. TFL apologizes for the delay in train service due to blank. Oh, God, this is fucked up. Um... Oh, I have a card that's perfect for this! TFL apologizes for the delay in train service due to queefing. TFL apologizes for the delay in train them. service due to chunks of a dead hitchhiker. <laughs> hey, Bill, what did you say? That some people are into that. Quiffin. Oh. Who gets a point, finally? The record, I'm not into Quiffin. That's disgusting. Sure. 
Here is church. Here is the steeple. Open the doors, and there is blank. Hmm. Uh... Sean, you there? There is church. There is the steeple. Open the doors, and there is a threesome with 1996 Dennis Denise Richards and 1999 Denise Richards. There is church. Here is the steeple. Open the doors, and there is Darth Vader. Woo! I think both of these were what I will say, I found 50 years old Denise Richards to be more attractive. You can imagine Darth Vader just walking out of that church, though. I would sign I up for church. God. I would literally, wear, I'll put on the cross and be like, yep, I'm joining this church. <laughs> Just don't bring your kids. And to earn big bucks, learn how to make blank work for you. Oh, damn, if wow. only you had Darth Vader for this one, like, <laughs> any business would work then. <laughs> I mean, true. Uh, uh, hmm. I'm going to buy uh, beverage now. Screw it. Looking to earn big bucks? Crypto. <laughs> I'm just joking. Looking for big bucks? Make a bag of magic beans work for you. Um, not too inaccurate. Looking to earn big bucks? Learn how to make what it means to be a Jewish woman in a contemporary society work for you. Honestly, that one's just not funny, but neither is the first one, but at least it works. Beans! I mean, yeah, it's just like... I can think of funny context, but just the last one just doesn't work. Blank. That's why mums go to Iceland. Hmm. Um. <laughs> now I'm just remembering my uh something that Michael McIntyre said once. Fifty thousand volts straight to their nipples. That's why mums go to Iceland. Oh God. <laughs> Laying an egg. That's why mums go to Iceland. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lay an egg in Iceland and Greenland. Uh, well, Iceland's a, a supermarket in the UK. Oh, I thought it was talking about the cu the country. Oh, it, it, no joke. In the UK, we do have a shop called Iceland. You uh, sell ice cream. I think I like this one just a bit more. Hey, nipples. Uh, I, really thought, I really thought laying eggs would work. Cause I was also going with like land sort of thing. Like, you know, the mums leave the country just to go lay an egg in another place. Oh my god, it's not me this time. I got 99 problems, but blank ain't one. I mean, I will say, this card is it's good for you, Sean. I will say that much. <laughs> oh god, is say, a later card? Let's just say you don't have to put up with this. That's all I'm gonna say. Oh god. Wow. I got 99 problems, but suddenly remembering remembering that the Holocaust happened ain't one. Got 99 problems, but Brexit ain't one. Yeah, from what I heard, this 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 sucks. Yeah, it does. That's yeah. what I'm saying. You you this is relatable to you. So you don't have to deal with that. <laughs> oh, I do not. Lucky bastard. <laughs> Channel 5's new reality show featuring eight washed up celebrities living with. Does this armor celebrity get me out of here? If they had Matt Hancock on it, then clearly he is washed up. Someone wouldn't get that. Channel 5's new reality show feature eight washed up celebrities living with Smash Mouth. <laughs> oh, Somebody! <laughs> Just every time they open the door, that theme plays. <laughs> Channel 5's new reality show feature eight washed up celebrities living with barely making 25 grand a year. <laughs> Both of these are brilliant, but... <laughs> I think given the washed up celebrity thing, this just works. Yeah, that just Smash works. Mouth is perfect. I thought that was going to uh, win just because of me uh, adding to it. It was it was good. They were they were both good. I couldn't help but wonder: was having it all an unobtainable myth? Was the secret of truly happy life just blank? I couldn't help but wonder, was having it all an unobtainable myth, 
was the secret to a truly happy life, just the way James Bond treats women. Oh, God. Which one is the real question? I mean, true. Both of these are good. I couldn't help but wonder, was having it all an unobtainable myth? Was the secret to a truly happy life just the sound of my roommate masturbating? Oh, God. Both no, of these are wins. brilliant. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure both of these would work. Ray. Uh, introducing extreme baseball. It's like baseball, but with blank. But that's something I gotta do with you two. I gotta make you two watch American sports highlights. I think these are both good for different reasons. Introducing extreme baseball. It's like baseball, but with side boob. Check out that side boob. How about that it's side boob? Much, huh? <laughs> Introducing extreme baseball. It's like baseball, but with a sad hand job. That doesn't, that doesn't make it extreme at all, then. Aww. How about that? Wait, I, I have to finish it. How about that side boob? That on yawn? Well, it shouldn't, because that's my side boob. The pity that kids these days are all getting involved with. Jesus. The pity that kids these days are all getting involved with the Underground Railroad. Sure. To pity that kids these days are all getting involved with uh, panathetic gender fluid children of the future. Oh my god. I feel like if I select that, I'm going to get cancelled. But at the same time, the other one. Oh, this shit. is cards against humanity. Wait, Bill, do you not know what the Underground Railroad is? Yeah, it's just the Underground. Uh, it's the U.S. pack. Okay, what's... The, all right, describe it to me. What's the Underground Railroad? Uh, it okay, was a... Go ahead. It, it was a way to get, uh, slaves to... a, a better place. <laughs> oh! Like, to, to Canada. Okay, so none of them... Okay, that's even funny. Okay, so yeah, no matter which one uh, I pick... Oh, for fuck's sake! Uh, get the cards back. Uh, what will always get you laid? Mm. I mean, it, I think there's a reason that I'm going to play this one. This one. What will always get you laid? Trimming the poop out of Chewbacca's butt hair. <laughs> okay. What will always get you laid? Unfathomable stupidity. <laughs> uh, I think I like this one a bit better. I didn't think I could lay. Uh. <laughs> Are you telling me someone who's willing to clean up Chewbacca's butt isn't a man you'd want to sleep with? <laughs> No, because his hands are fucking dirty. Exactly. Some people are into that shit. Well, if you excuse me, gentlemen, I have a date with blank. And I get this one. Oh, if only I still had the Darth Vader card. Oh, that'd be perfect <laughs> for Bill. Oh, uh, if you excuse me, gentlemen, I have a date with German Chancellor Angela Merkel. Oh, if you'll excuse me, gentlemen, I have a date with a tiny horse. Uh, so what, are they a brony? Oh, God, man. More than eight. Hey. Oh. I, I only picked that one because it was a person. You guys are going for so many safe stuff, man. Hey, Ron, I couldn't decide between the two. Uh, <laughs> check me out, y'all. I call this dance move. Reference. Get me out, y'all. I call this move my neck, my back, my pussy, and my crack. <laughs> Check me out, y'all. I call this dance move 
the great corn holio. <laughs> Oh, uh, I had to go with this one. <laughs> I think mine is a Maybe. Beavis and Butthead reference. Is well, yeah, yeah, I know. I've I've watched that. I think it's guaranteed. I'm not gonna win this round. Uh, I'm at least still gonna try at least get some funnies in there. Oh, hey, it's this one again. In Belmarsh Prison, word is you can trade two hundred cigarettes for blank. Can't decide between two of my cards. <laughs> oh, if only the past game had recorded right. <laughs> be honest, I feel like if you're in prison, you you would want something like this for yourself. <laughs> oh god, they're both Belmarsh good. prison, word is you can trade 200 cigarettes for used knickers. <laughs> oh god, Jesus that's mean. <laughs> in Belmarsh prison, word is you can trade 200 cigarettes for googling. Well, yeah, we know which one won. <laughs> hey, I was between this one, one and just I could do not... Want that. It was between this card in my hand and an AK-47. <laughs> Before I kill you, Mr. Bond, I must show you blank my ass. Apparently it says... <laughs> Never mind. Uh... Okay, I'm just gonna go with this one just because, you know, politics. Before I kill you, Mr. Bond, I must show you a big black dick strapped to a frail white body. This is my son, Pietro. <laughs> Before I kill you, Mr. Bond, I must show you Hillary Clinton's emails. You won't believe how I managed to recover these. It's amazing she's not in jail. She's worse than me. <laughs> I like both of them, but I just find the context of this one funnier. Yeah, I had a feeling that was going to win. Just imagine that. The villain, instead of killing him, he's just reading all these emails like, you would not believe what she's into. <laughs> Air Canada guidelines now prohibit blank on aeroplanes. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, I just have to ask, I'm not sure if I just sound dumb for this. Does prohibit mean, like, not allowed? Yes. Yeah. Just want to make sure I don't confuse it like they, they are allowed. <laughs> Canada guidelines now prohibit the heart of a child on an aeroplane. I mean, yes, I would imagine so. Canada guidelines now prohibit uh, a pamphletic gender fluid children of the future on aeroplanes. Both of these are horrible because if I select that one, I'm probably going to get cancelled. I feel if like I one works a bit better than the other. If one of them's discriminatory, the other one's just fucked up, but uh any mini money mo catch a tiger by his toe, punch his dick and call him Weetabix. Hey You can't cancel me people because I any mini money mode it. What's funny is that card was given back to me when Bill couldn't pick one. Uh I just struggled. Next on <laughs> ESPN two, the World Series of Blank. I'm just going to go with this one, because I just want to use this card. <laughs> okay, if I win, Next I lose. on ESPN2, the World Series of Assless Chaps. You must be in Texas. Next on ESPN2, the World Series of Punching a Congressman in the Face. And that wins. <laughs> and Sean wins. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. I would like to dedicate this win to... I would have picked assless chaps. Oh, thank you. But reading it out loud changed my mind. Yeah, I mean, assless chaps would be kind of funny to watch a series on. Like, some guys trying to walk to work and some cameraman's filming. Like, this guy's assless. <laughs> uh, another game? Yeah. 